What's going on guys? It's your boy Space Kong and I'm back motherfuckers! Now you're probably thinking, where the fuck have I been these last few months? And well, there is a very good story to go with it and it's a tale of slaying dragons and demons and stuff. I mean, it's not really like that. But yeah, there was a real life problem that I had to sort out first, so... But I will be talking about that in another video. But in this video, Asylum Weapons! So there's two weapons, well, two types of weapons there. There's the Asylum Weapons, and then there's the Perfect Asylum Weapons, which you get from the new trial, Asylum. And the difference between these two weapons are, is not a lot really. I mean, the normal ones aren't that bad, considering that you don't have to do a lot to get them. I mean, yeah, I mean, it takes a group of 12 people to get it, but apparently you can get these on normal, instead of doing it on veteran, and you get the perfect ones on veteran. That's just what I've heard anyway. So, the Asylum Bow. When you deal damage with arrow spray, you cause enemies hit to take 45% more damage from direct damage portion of your next snipe, scatter shot, or poison arrow used within 5 seconds. Now that sounds pretty powerful right off the bat. I mean, you know, bows were pretty cool for PvP, and now I think they're just gonna be even more powerful, especially when you get those snipers. So, let's see how that looks. Holy shit, that actually looks really cool. That may even be my favourite bow. The effect's amazing, and it just looks so cool. But, I mean, as far as the whole getting it on normal and getting on veteran thing, I'm not sure if you can definitely get it on normal, that's just what I've heard. But, what I think they're going to do is have the... Well, the standard weapons you get from the veteran mode, because there is going to be a veteran hard mode, which I think is where you're going to get the perfect weapons from, because the veteran hard mode, apparently you have to drag all three bosses and fight them all at once, and that just sounds painful. But yeah, as far as the bow goes, I'm down with it. And let's have a look at the perfect one. Okay, the enchantments now all the same, blah 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 blah. Okay, so it's basically from 45% to 50%. So it's not a massive difference, really, when you think about it. But for all you best in slot people, then, you know, you obviously want to go get it. And considering I've got a trial guild, I'm definitely going to be going for the perfect weapons. As for looks, it's exactly the same. Wait, hang on. No, this is the old one. Shit, I fucked up already. God damn it, space car! Right, so that's the normal one. And this is the perfect one. It looks exactly the fucking same. Ah, oh, that kind of sucks. So no one will be able to tell if you've got the normal one or the perfect one just by looking at you. God damn it! Oh well. Let's have a look at the other weapon, shall we? So, all the staffs are exactly the same. They all look the same. They all have the same effect. So I'm only going to be looking at the Infernal Staff. So, Force Shock always applies burning, concussion, and chilled status effect. This effect can occur once every five seconds per enemy. That is really powerful. That is actually really cool. So it applies all three. I presume that's not per type of uh, staff. So fire one will put the burning one, you know, so on. It's saying, because for, obviously force shock is all three. You know, you're hitting with all three elements. And if it's to apply all three status effects, that's insane. It's amazing. Every five seconds per enemy. So it's not even limited. That's awesome. Let's have a look at the perfect one, because that's really powerful as it is. Okay, so the perfect one. Oh, it's every four seconds. That's awesome. That is really cool. So instead of five seconds, you get every four seconds per enemy for the perfect one. Yeah, I'm totally down with that. I mean, <laughs> these are definitely going to be relevant. Because I know the Maelstrom and the Masters weren't so great these last few patches. So... Okay, when you deal damage with Whirlwind, you add 8 seconds to your active Twin Slashes, Lacerate and Blade Cloak over time effects. 
This effect can occur once per cast of those abilities. Okay, that was really cool. And these are for the dual wield asylum weapons. So the asylum weapons are kind of a little bit different for the single handed ones. You get the dual wield effect ones and then you get the single handed effect ones. So if you want to rock a sword and board, you have to get a different sword, not the dual wield sword. If that makes sense. You'll understand in a minute when I show you. But yeah, they basically all have exactly the same effect. And you need two to complete this set, obviously, because it's dual wield. And I will be making a video on how to complete this trial. I don't know how to do it yet. I'm currently getting my trial guild to come over to the PTS so we can make some best in slot core team to take it on and then work out you know how to beat all the bosses so let's have a look okay wow <laughs> it just looks like a giant lollipop so this is the one-handed axe well for the dual wield line because there's the one-handed then there's a the dual wield each having different effects so yeah it just I don't know it looks just like a giant lollipop I'm not a fan of that to be honest Let's have a look at the dagger. Yeah, I quite like the dagger, actually. It's pretty cool. It's a very unique hilt. I like the curve at the end of the blade. It's pretty awesome. And I don't know why, it just looks quite big for a dagger, so I'm down with it. Okay, let's have a look at the maul. Alright, so it's more of a hammer than a maul, but... Yeah, I can dig it. That's pretty cool, actually. Dual wield now will look pretty awesome. And the effects on them are really cool. I really like these asylum weapons so far. I mean, I say so far because we might come across some really shit ones in a minute. Let's have a look at the sword. I assume it's just like a dagger, but bigger. Yep. I, I really like this, actually. I'm tempted to make some dual wielding sword person. Just because it looks cool. Alright, let's see what else we got. Alright, so these are the perfect ones. And instead of adding 8 seconds, it adds 10 seconds to your duration. So that's pretty cool. Alright, these are the one-handed ones. So they're exactly the same, they just have a different effect. So you can have one-handed and shield. Okay. When you reflect or absorb a spell projectile with defense posture, you restore 1,818 magicka. If defensive posture expires without reflecting or absorbing any spell projectiles, you restore 4,545 magicka instead. That's really cool, actually. If you're in a fight where they're not using magicka, you can just keep in your magicka base build. You can just keep using this to get magicka back. That is actually really cool. Especially if you're a um, sorcerer tank. That would be pretty awesome. So I'm really down with these weapons. So many ideas. There's, oh, there's going to be so many builds coming up soon. Right, so... Oh, okay, they look ex they do look exactly the same, so I'm not going to bother going through all of them. Alright, let's have a look at the restoration staff. Actually, hang on. No, wait. Let's have a look at the perfect ones first. Okay, so the perfect ones basically give you a solid 2,000 Magicka or 5,000 Magicka. So, okay. It's only a little bit better, but I guess over time it's going to amount to a lot. So, let's have a look. Asylum Restoration Staff. When you cast Blessing of Protection, the cost of your next grand healing, regeneration, or steadfast ward within 5 seconds is reduced to 45%. Uh, I don't know, it's a little anticlimactic if you ask me. I think they probably could have done something a little bit better, like I don't know, giving an extra healing tick for casting a spell or something, or making the heals more powerful. I guess a cost reduction is cool, but you shouldn't really run out of magic or anyway if you're like a decent healer, because you have to constantly keep the magic flowing. 
as so far as looks go, it's exactly the same as the destruction staffs. Obviously, you just hold it differently. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. Let's have a look at the perfect ones. See if they're any better. Okay, so instead of 45% reduced, it's 50% reduced. You can start to see the pattern here. It's not a great deal, but obviously for people who want best in slot, or for all your elitists out there, then um, yeah, that's definitely where you want to go. But well, I wouldn't say I'm an elitist, but I like I like to have the best of the best. But that makes me sound like an elitist, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, so for the Asylum Shield, two items. When you reflect or absorb a spell projectile with defensive posture, you restore... Yeah, that's exactly the same as the one-handed weapons. So I'm guessing that the perfect shield is going to be the solid 2,000 or the solid 5,000 back. Because obviously you're going to use one one um, one-handed weapon and then you're going to use a shield. You can't use two shields, so that would be cool. Have some Dark Souls going on there. Okay, so the shield itself actually looks... I like it. Yeah. I like it, really. I was expecting it to look more dwarven -y, but hey, it's different. It looks really cool. And I would probably use that. Oh, in fact, you know, I would definitely make a sork tank just to use that. And I just activated werewolf, so that sucks. Yeah, I'm on the the uh, test server, by the way, in case you guys haven't already realised. And I just pressed on the wrong thing, so now I've got some werewolfing going on. Okay, so two-handed weapons. When you deal damage with reverse slash, you generate up to 14 ultimate based on how much execute bonus damage it's dealt. What? That is really good. Because, you know, the two-handed ultimate is very cheap, and it and in PvP, it can basically be a one-shot anyway. So to keep using Reverse Slash to get your ultimate back, and that's going to be so powerful. Wow. I'm... yeah, that is, that is awesome. Let's, let's see how they look. I can also see tanking, because obviously some people tank with two-handed weapons. I don't know why. I mean, you know, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. It depends what situation you're in. Okay, that just looks like an even bigger lollipop. I'm not a fan of the axe. I thought they would look a lot cooler, but yeah, that kind of sucks. The effect is awesome, but <laughs> yeah, it looks shit. The sword, oh wow. That's like some proper katana looking thing. That is amazing. I, these swords are really cool. I, I do like them a lot. But as I was saying before, yeah, if you're a tank, you could literally have the sword on your back bar for your, for your buffs and stuff, and then you could just keep using reverse slash if you wanted. It might work, it might not, it's going to take some testing, it could end up being a really shit idea, but it's cool to get your ultimate back, so, yeah, I mean, you know, that's what a test server's for, you know, to test all this shit, it could be an amazing idea, it could be proper shit. The hammer itself actually looks amazing, I'm a big fan of it, well, I say hammer, it's actually called a maul, but, I mean, to me it just looks like a giant squeaky hammer, you know, the ones I'm talking about, you know, the toys that squeak when you bonk someone over the head with it. But yeah, I mean, I would still use that. Not Squeaky Hammer, the maul. You know, you know what I'm trying to say. Okay, so we have the perfect ones next. And instead of generating 14 ultimate, it can generate 15 ultimate. But this is based on how much damage you're doing with the reverse slash. Because it's an execute, obviously, it's going to do more damage the lower the opponent's health is. So if you were to do this on a dungeon or trial boss when they're on low health, then you're going to be generating a ton of ultimate. And that's the Asylum weapons at a first glance. I still need to test them. This is the first time I've actually seen them myself, so we're kind of exploring this together, really. I haven't done any testing at all on them, so I'm going to be doing that pretty much all day. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and found it useful. And let me know your thoughts on your Asylum weapons in the comment section below. And if you would like to see more videos like this in the future, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, you know, the usual shit that people did the YouTube say at the end of their videos. So, like, all that, and have a great day, guys. Peace!